Closing the gap, understanding and using the phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a common English phrase, close the gap. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, and understanding it can really help in both understanding English better and in using the language more effectively. Let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Close the gap is an idiomatic expression. It generally means to reduce the difference or distance between two things or people. This phrase can be used literally, like talking about physical distances, but it's often used metaphorically to discuss differences in knowledge, skills, opinions, or performance. For example, if a student is behind in a subject, they might work to close the gap in their understanding. Now, let's see how close the gap is used in various contexts. 1. Education. If there's a gap in students' understanding, a teacher might introduce new methods to close the educational gap. 2. Business. A company might aim to close the gap with its competitors by innovating or improving its products. 3. Personal development. Someone might close the gap in their personal skills, like learning a new language to bridge the gap in communication. While using close the gap, it's important to avoid certain mistakes. Don't use it to mean ending a relationship or conclusion of an event. It's about reducing differences, not ending something. Be clear about what gap you are referring to. Without context, the phrase can be vague. To master this phrase, try using it in your daily conversations or writing. Here are a few prompts. Discuss a situation where you had to close the gap in your knowledge. Talk about a time when a company or team had to innovate to close the gap in the market. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, close the gap. Remember, it's all about reducing differences or distances, whether they're physical, intellectual, or skill-based. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Keep practicing, and see you in the next lesson.